MLB The Show has baseball for you. Under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. We've got an NL East contest tonight between the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Robbie Ray, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitch. At the plate, Leading Matthew Rector. And we are set fielder. for baseball here Matthew this evening. Rector. First pitch on its way. First of three here on this Tuesday night as the game's first offering is taken for strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in two and one on the young season and off to a good start. Yeah, Matty, this pitch. is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right here now. Right. There's a fight at the back. Behind 0-2 now. up the ball. The next to bat for Atlanta, Brandon Bunty, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Change up, called strike one. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. No. At times, right. Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. Bases are empty, one man out. Into center field, line drive base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead that red piece of cheese middle the of the plate, and he didn't five. miss it. Freddie Freeman. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Nope. And he takes ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here comes the 1 0. Right. Swing and a miss for strike one. Bunty, base runner at first with one out. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. The 2 1 home is a fastball ball that misses. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. The three and one pick. Line hard toward right center. Good. Is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. 
absolutely jumped that all cool. over that fastball. Third baseman, and it might have been a seven. home run if he had it Anthony any elevation under it. Red but it was Jones. basically right at the outfielder. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's short, hit hard. Bronco fields it cleanly. And they'll go to short play to retire the shot. Blade strand one. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Shelby Miller will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Klesak, what do you got? Big arm from Shelby Miller from the right side. 95 to 96. Good sinking action and a pretty good straight changeup. You'll know if he's on early if you see lots of swings and misses on the fastball. And if that's the case, the power breaking ball comes into play. When he's on, he can be awfully tough to beat. Coming oh, to the plate really now, Rich Hostfielder. He'll lead things off Rich. here in the bottom half of the oh, first. Yeah. Here comes the first pitch. And oh, ball 1-0. Yeah. Well, the boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, it's so far so good as they enter play 3-0 on the young season. Yeah, guys, this is a dangerous team right now. Game one of a new series coming off a sweep. Everybody's feeling good. Swinging the bats red hot. This should be interesting. Oh, and he good. won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. The 2 0. Grounded foul off to the right. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Strike 2. Good curveball on the inside black. Hey, I watched Tom Glavin master throwing changeups inside to right handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball, he's going to go to it all game. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Here's another 2 2. Well outside with the curveball to a ball. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it ball out. Four, and he four. takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And I'm sure the that manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's right. better to battle a slugger like that to the end and four. end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Coming to the plate now, Brock Holt. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The runner is first with no outs here. Ball and one. it's one and one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Steel running. He's running in there. Now the throw. Attack from Simmons, and he is out at second base. Well, it's pretty frigid out there, and I don't know the science behind it, but it seems pretty difficult to get the full speed when it's this cold. Hard to say, but maybe that had a little bit to do with that caught stealing. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two.
Brock Colt now with a full count. These last two guys are making them work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Nero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Focusing on this lineup, Matt. One thing jumps out at me, they are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now, on the bump, has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game, everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. First delivery to him on the way. Right there for strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a changeup here, but that's right. taken low in the dirt for a ball. Very high, 2-1. Now the 2-1. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Potter onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Phillies go down quietly there. We are still scoreless. pitch here it comes and he catches the inside corner for a called strike nothing in one bouncer up the middle backhanded and the throw no, is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Stepping in now, Brett Fisher, ball. as he'll watch one miss down yep, and in for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Oh. Ramirez aboard here at first with nobody out. Run it, run it, run it. There goes Hanley for second. Straight right. taken, the throw. One and, one. and it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. A ah. uh, ball and two strikes now. Hardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Two balls That's and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. And a half swing that time, but it's a full 
team when he arrives at the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And let's focus on Adam Jones. There's three things in this world that are guarantees. Death, taxes, and Adam Jones. You can pencil him in a buck 55 center field, 280, 25, and 8. Stepping in for the Braves, Jason Potter. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Potter is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Now the one and one pitch. Line drive to center field. Jones. It's there now, and he has it to gone. Batting it. The shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. And now is Andrelton Simmons. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Here comes the first pitch. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Hey. A ball and a strike. Yeah, one ball, one strike. One and one. Here it is. Heading out towards shallow right. Good is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. And now it will be the cleanup spot for Way the Phillies. Go. Jerome, Billy. good. He'll swing the it right from fielder. the left side right here. Jerome. Good. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. As a veteran pitcher, he knows if he's going to have success in this one, he's got to establish that pitch in, get those guys to respect it, and open up that outer half of the plate. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Time for a look at the Braves on D. And let's take a look that at Andrelton Simmons. Up. You can argue this is the best defender in all the sport. Range, first step, quickness, whatever you want to throw out there, this is one of the best in the game. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there. No balls and a strike. All in one. Hey, there's no waiting around trying to work this guy into deep counts and get into the bullpen. This is a mid-90s fastball guy who loves that pitch and is aggressive and comes right at you. I would assume the offense is going to have a similar approach. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Ball one. As the changeup misses well off the inside. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Bottom of the second here with no score.
fastball okay. well outside. On deck, the dangerous Adam Jones. Another full count offering on its way. Now Rizzo belts one, carrying well to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. That was a great job of driving that ball. Fielder. Extending his arm very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. The man at second with one down. And standing in the fine center fielder, Adam Jones. second with one gone in the inning. Aye. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun and it's one and one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. needs to shorten up with two strikes. Runner at second here with one man out. side of the infield. Freeman is under it. Two gone. Batting seven. The catcher. Keith Gonzalez. Coming to the plate now. Keith Gonzalez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at-bat. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this no is going to get now. fouled. This one off. Oh, and two. Here it is. In the dirt. The throw will go to third. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Down quickly go the Phillies. We'll move to the third with no score. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. 
behind 0-2 now. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit and the Braves have a man on. Well, that's his the first major league hit. There might not Matthew. be too many more to come considering Richter. he's a pitcher, but I'm sure that's still a pretty exciting moment for him. Hey, listen, hits are hard to come by, Matt. I only had one in my entire 18-year career. One for 15, but hey, I still remember that one hit. Standing in now, Matthew Rector. One -oh. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one second appearance here he grounded out to start the ball game he's ready here's the 1 0 nearly got the inside but ruled the ball on 2 and 0 you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second too tight with that one three and oh this inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound but here on three and oh you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track and this one catches the inside corner for strike one that's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Called strike, and that'll run it four. Nobody out, runner on first. Misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Right Huge field. innings Number have begun 18. with much less. I can Brandon. tell you that. First and second, no out. And the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Now to the plate, Brandon Bunty. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. You're on the mound in this situation. You only have two options. You got to find a way to strike this next guy out or get him to ground into a double play. One and one. Yep. One and one. First and second here with nobody out. Ball hits softly on a line to third. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman hit it hard when lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, Low for it. ball one. Miller at second. Rector at first. One gone. No, that's Fastball down. just a bit low here. He's behind 2-0 and oh now. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. 2 0 count. The pitch is a heater in there for a strike. Hey, you get 2 0, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2 1 count, ready to do some damage. 
All can't three. find the zone there, and it's yep. three and one. Three and one. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Line towards center field. Jones is there. Two gone. The third baseman, number seven, Anthony Rendell. Now the Atlanta number four hitter, Anthony Rendon. First delivery to him on the way. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them. But he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Come set the 0 1. Good pitch there down oh, below the zone. Got him to go after it. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hoskins on the move. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Two left for Atlanta. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping into the box, Pete Gonzalez. Billy, the catcher. Pete Gonzalez. Here's the first pitch to him. This one's nowhere Count close one as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And hey. wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. The so one one. Misses ball Hello. two. One strike. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. So striding forward now, Ben Zobris as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Grounded back up the middle. Diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be Double scored as an infield single. Three. Nice effort by the shortstop Three. right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. First offering on its way. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. Simmons on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. The ball. Uh, he got no the run down, there. but he didn't hit it enough. Really oh, good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Bunty. And that retires the side. One left for Philadelphia. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless.
digging in. Hanley Ramirez. We begin oh, the right. top of the fourth. The left fielder. This game is rolling yeah. right along with the yeah. in the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get oh. them in, but that hasn't been the case. Ball one to start the at bat. Ready. Here's the 1 0. In there, and it's even at 1. and two strikes to Hanley Ramirez. Count remains two and two. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with another 2 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle for a second. Zobrist is there. Throw to oh. first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The batter, the catcher, Brett Fisher. At the plate, Brett Fisher. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and a borderline ball, Maddie. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Pitch on the way. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Well, now you see how difficult it is to be a catcher. This ball is really smoke. Now it's all the way to the wall, D-Row. But he just doesn't have the foot speed to turn Harder. this into an extra base hit. Yeah, his calling card is definitely not his ability to run the bases. It's for offense and massaging the pitching staff. Into the box now, Jason Potter. Oh, as he a looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. He pull right. that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. The 2 1 home. Line drive to left. Hoskins is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now batting, shortstop, Ampleton, Simmons. Gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth, and standing in one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. He's set. Here it comes, and who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside? It's nothing in one. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Fouled away. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. And it's 
Down, one and two. One and two. You know, Maddie, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one, two, fouled off. A runner on first with two away. Be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Brave strand one onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. that strike call and his manager he didn't like it either as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout here comes the 0-1 and that's a called strike the letters though that looked high from here it's 0-2 now let's see if he continues to climb that ladder or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt Ready with the 0-2. And he one missed ball. with it. It's one two and two. Strikes. I think you could have an argument for that first pitch that it could have been off the plate, but there was certainly no debate with that one. That missed by a ton. Skied into straightaway right. Bunty has a read on it. Makes the play one away. for Philadelphia. Not shortstop. Michael. Digging in to try it again. Michael Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Strike one to start the at bat. Wind up and the 0 1. And it's fouled away. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. Makes the throw to first. Two down. So coming to the plate, Jerome Good comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. And he takes a cold strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. 
through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Braves to discuss his thoughts on Atlanta's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it feels like every time they've made contact, it's been hard contact. And the numbers certainly back that up. In total, they've hit an amazing 10 line drives in this game alone. And while some of those have resulted in outs, it's consistency that has this coaching staff feeling really good we about what they're seeing left. right now. The pitcher, number okay, 17. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Shelby Miller. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Fastball oh. just missed above the zone. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1 0 home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. There to take it is Zobrist, and that's out number one. The center fielder, number 34, Matthew Rector. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Matthew Rector. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. Jones is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batter, the right fielder, Brandon Bunty. Now in the box, Brandon Bunty. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Back-to-back hey. -back tough pitches, and he's down 0-2 now. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He's pounding his own. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Line toward the alley in left center. Hoskins is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game, and that they just need to stick to the process. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping in, Anthony Rizzo to try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. There's the first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Changes up on him, and that's in the dirt for the ball. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. And he fouls this one off. Two and one on its way. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Here now the two-two. 
Ground ball foul down the left side. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. He ripped this one over to first in time for the out. Center fielder. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit Whoa, more over. A ball and no strikes. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Hey. A strike on the inside, and he can't one believe ball. it at the plate. Two it's strike. one and two now. The one two. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what now the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Keith Gonzalez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. taken but that gets the zone for a strike there's a cold strike on a fastball up in the zone we're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays with the launch angles guys are looking for the ball down in the zone if a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there you can go ahead and make some hay as a look now the pitch now a curveball misses inside Gonzalez former Colorado Rocky he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season yeah I know he expected to get a longer term deal but these are the facts right now he is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season Jones a runner at first with one gun in the inning fouled away Again, one, two. Hit hard on the ground a second. He's got it. Simmons relayed a pretty double play, and that'll end the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. the first offering fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike to me getting ahead 0 one it, it's the most important pitch in the game Maddie I it puts the hitter on the defensive I can only think of myself being in the batter's box when I'm sitting 1 0 I am all over the gas or I am allowed the oh, opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1 when you're down 0 1 your head's on a swivel a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen Now the pitch. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. 
with how hard guys throw these days, the 94 miles an hour is good, but not Anthony as impressive as it used to be. Rendell. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. Oh, so right. take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1-0. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. One out, nobody on. On oh, struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing now any batting. signs of intimidation with these middle-of-the-order guys. Ramirez. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the deck. Here's Hanley Ramirez. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First offering on its way. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Comes in on strike three for the final out of the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back in Philadelphia right after this. Here's Ben Zobris now. Way to go. For the Phillies. The second baseman. There. Here comes the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0 home. Finds the zone. Strike one. Locks him up for strike three. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure out other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. First delivery to him on the way. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1-1. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's Simmons at short. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rich Hopkins. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's not close, it's in the dirt for ball one. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of any time you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. 
And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hit hard to short. Simmons is there. Throw on the first. Gets him and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Still no score. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Stepping into the box, Brett Fisher. And guys, seven inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying sure. by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First pitch of the at-bat. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. A one pitch on its way. Nope, Breaking ball, ball below the zone. That's ball one. Hard liner to center field. Jones is there and he has it for the first out. I know they say sometimes that these things the even base. out, but that Jason. was a bullet line drive Potter. that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Standing in now, Jason Potter lifted in the air to right field. Good as a beat on it, two gone. Now battle the shortstop, Angleton. Into the box now, Angleton Simmons. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. First pitch on its way. Popped him up. Gonzalez over to his right. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. And we still have no score. Strikeout in this one. The third Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams for that inning, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. Oh, that's cool. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. Two now. Now the two one pitch. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Bunty racing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. The batter number seven, shortstop, Michael Rocco. Now batting, Michael Franco. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the first pitch. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. One out, nobody on.
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. A quick level third, and there are two gone. Now back, right fielder, Juro. Good. Good. As the first pitch ball misses one, no to time. him, it's ball one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Now the 1 0. -oh. He's looked after the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at that. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. He's fallen behind now, three and one. That's out to left. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? Ramirez is camped under this one, and he will put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Philadelphia will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Philip, better. Steve, Steve for Gonzalez Atlanta. is going to be asked Number to get one. things going here as a lead Steve. off the top of the eighth. Gonzalez. First pitch of the nope. inning is okay. taken low and away for a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. Home. He's taken high above the zone. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it two and one instead. Now the two one pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And the move to the pinch here will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. The Phillies is they fully over point. now as you get a look at the pitching yeah, line for the Phillies starter. Who was on point from the get-go this evening. Hey, one of the things you can't control as a starting pitcher is whether you're going to win or lose the game. He pitched awfully well in this one. As of right now, he's in line for a no decision. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Matthew Rector, fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First offering on its way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Hit hard on the ground to second. Finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. And you see on the graphic right there that his the hitting streak field. will Number indeed 18. live on as he just Brandon. continues to hit the ball well. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. 
And we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. Stepping up now, Brandon Bunty. First pitch of the at bat. A pitch out. The throw. And a good decision to pitch out that time as he is toast at second base. Well, they guess right on the first pitch pitch out. Sometimes you have to wait a pitch or two in the at bat to try that, but they must have had a pretty good idea who was going to be on the move. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line toward the gap in left center. Hoskins is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Braves go down quietly. We are still scoreless. Ladies Stephen and Selby your is on to pitch please. out of the bullpen in the now bottom half of the Atlanta. eighth. Number 26, Stephen Selby. Standing in, Anthony Rizzo. He got on top of one. It was a ground down victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Here it comes, 2-0. And, oh. and a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2-1. and one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hit down the third baseman. And this will stay inside the third base by the fair ball. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. A better field. Man, that swing looks like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he oh. wasn't it out there and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitch. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And standing in the fine center fielder, Adam Jones. First delivery to him on the way. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. And Jones fails to come up with that one as he falls behind here, 0-2 now. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. Two once more. And this is for ball one. one. Gets it high and deep out to center field. Rector ranging back. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Our line but score there says it all to this ball. point, or if you prefer, Jeez. it doesn't Good say ball. anything. Nothing, nothing, our score, as you start to wonder if anyone's going to play to run in this one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Pete Gonzalez. Ready 
to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. One and two. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Well, well their chances of pushing the across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit, or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. This is pulled into right. Bunty is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Philly strand one. Still no score. Riding in once again, Freddie Freeman. He's hit the on the three at bats to this point. The first base, number five, Freddie First Freeman. offering on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Cold strike, 0 and 2. You know, the old adage is you never throw a lefty down and in because their ability to turn and burn, and this pitcher's taking that to heart. He is throwing everything away right here. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. It hard to the right side, but foul. So we'll see if he can straighten that out. The next one 0 2 ball. misses, two and that'll three. move it to 1 and 2 now. The 1 2. Is shot and missed. He got him. Talk about blowing it by a guy's shoes. I mean, that foul ball was way behind him when the swing came to the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. And still watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. One to Rendon. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. That finds the zone. A called strike. The one two is looked at for ball number two. One out, nobody on. Hard hit at third. Oh, fields it cleanly. And there's out oh. number two. Up next for Atlanta, the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. Now at the plate, Hanley Ramirez. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. 
Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And this one's nowhere one close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Strike right. two swinging just out in front of the slider. One ball, two strikes, Jim. Two out, nobody on. Even in Philadelphia through eight and a half, the Phillies have a chance to walk it off. Your Kevin attention, Martin please. will grab a bat to pinch hit here, and you wonder if Number he'll be swinging 21. for the downs, trying Seven. to walk off with a victory. And he gets ahead 0-1. and one count and the pitch skied into straightaway right Bunty has a read on it one down now about it. Braves are into the bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening Hey, only allowed three hits in this one kept the hitters off balance and was a lot of fun to watch in now, Rich Hoskins, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch coming, here it is. At the ball. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Bases are empty, one man out. And it looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. All and a look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone, indeed. It's strike two. Right by him, and there are two down. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. Now that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss, and another strikeout. Here's Brock Holt now. And yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Oh, that just misses inside. off the inside for ball one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Off again, ball three. Ready with the three one. Left side, but well foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off.
got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Phillies down in order, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Luther takes the mound. This will be the first man to pitch here in extra inning. Luther. Ready for another chance. Brett Fisher. Brett Fisher. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Sliced hard on the ground. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Hey, that's nice execution right there. Swung down the first slider, got base. it again, base stayed base. tall, kept his hands Harder. back, didn't try and do too much, and delivered a nice base hit. Into the box, Jason Potter. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw is made it first, so they can't get anybody out. Now back, quick back, Anderson. Into the box now, Anderson Simmons. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys were looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. And it's fouled away. Get off me, ball. That ball's way too far inside. He's got to step out of the box right now and adjust his batting gloves because he just got stung by a pack of wasps. Now the 0-2 pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Now that not a lot of good scoring good. opportunities, and when they have them, like right now, Healthy. it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Ladies Matt and Adams You're will be called please. upon here to hit with Thank the game on the line. Atlanta. Number 32, Matt Adams. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. and that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Rector hits a little over the 270 mark. Fisher over at second. Potter on at first with two down. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Set and the 1-1. Outside. 2-1. One, one. 
a lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch got himself ahead in the count now turned on that one and crushed it and it a little foul. two down runners at first and second Hit hard on the ground towards second. Taken in by Zobie. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. We are still scoring. Your David Kronika comes on to now start the home 10th, Atlanta. and he's just hoping Number to get nine. this one into the 11th David. inning. Kronika. Riding in, Mike Del Franco hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. First offering on its way. He'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1 0. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Right. Half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's 1-2 and two now. The 1-2. Is off the plate, Earth up and away. Rocket to third. And just hit past his outstretched arm on the base hit. Love the approach right there to get on base with a leadoff knock. To start the ball with those pets. They don't want this game to go any farther than this. They want to end it right now. Let's see how the rounds are played. Jerome Good as he'll take a change up here for strike one. A winning run is at first base. Behind Owen Tuna. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Good waste oh, pitch, one and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with another two-strike offering. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Pulled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, yeah, according to the umpire. The first Sometimes base. it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Before the pitch, a check hey. on that winning run at first. He'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Perhaps wisely, oh. another look to first. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo. And now they'll tag him out between first and second. It's a double play, and the inning is over. One hits all they get. No winner yet. On to inning number 11 we go. And we still have no score. Ready now, Brandon Bunty. He's one for four for the game. 
the right fielder. Brandon Brunty. Here comes the first pitch. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled oh, a strike. Nothing in one. The pitch. That just oh, that's misses it. off the inside for ball one. Two balls and a strike. A 2 1 home. Taken strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And this will miss down low in the dirt. So he's worked it full now at three and two. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. Now the payoff pitch home. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The next three two. Is a and a miss. That's strike three. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been amazing, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. At the plate, Freddie Freeman he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. First offering on its way. And this oh, is just off the play. outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. Lined hard toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. They'll throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Let's take another look at just a the third big swing right seven. there. Good weight transfer, Anthony. good hands Red to the ball, Jones. solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rendon. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, if your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Jones going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. Now with the plate, Hanley Ramirez, runner in scoring position with Sudan.
Here's the first pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Inside, it's even at one. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. A pie, two and one now. Now the two one. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0-1 to 3-1, and, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. Ready with the 3-1, and he fouls this one off. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And alive, putting together a really good at bat here. That misses for ball four. Down to first goes Ramirez. Just a nice now, piece of hitting right Fisher. there, especially right. in extra innings. Fisher. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently You're worked at that three. until he earned the walk. Now, Let's we'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Jake Beekman trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Digging in once again, Brett Fisher and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a ball strike one. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0 and 2. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Freeman on second. Ramirez at first, two out in the inning. Slap hard the opposite way. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we still have no score. Ready once again, Adam Jones. He'll look to get something Winning going here in this scoreless ball game. The center fielder, Adam Jones. Set and the pitch. A swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Unable oh, to down. find the zone with the slider. Hit the target, but this is low. Three. Two and one. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Fouled away. Set. Here's the three and two. And line drive. That's going to be 
trouble. Jones around first, thinking two here. And just like that, the winning run is into second base with a leadoff double. double. Look at the tattoos this Team. ball right here. Good. Trying to steal that ball in. No way. Into the box, Keith Gonzalez, he's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Nope. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And the pitch one, misses right. blowing yeah. away for ball two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Ben Zobris will be next. The 3-1 pitch. There's a two-seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. Possible winning run on second. No one out. He Here's struck out. him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these uh, days. But it doesn't Delphi. make it any less the impressive to me. I love yeah. watching guys come in and blow smoke oh, right by guys. Into the box now, Ben Zobris. This will look at a changeup to drop the ball the knees for ball one. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. The 1 0. Hey. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Zobris hey. with a 1 and 2 count now. Great pitch out. there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that, that was really Philadelphia. well executed, man. No, sure. Classic strikeout yeah. pitch. You think it's fastball yeah. middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and Ladies unless and you hit it out front, right, there's man. nothing Please. much you can do with that. He's Alex Gordon the will be called upon Number here to five. hit with the game on the line. Alex. Old strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Gordon is quickly approaching 200 career homers, looking to inch closer here. Come set, the 0-1. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Ready with the one two.
Your Pablo attention, please. Busher gets the ball now as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 25, Pablo Busher. Digging in the switch hitter, Jason Potter. The second base. Jason Potter. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Up. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Holt is over to take a look at it. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. That Down. misses one, one and two. two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next one, two pitch. Ball two. Misses, ball two. And this will miss down low in the third, so he's worked it full now at three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. And he's he's right. just wear him down as this one swung out and missed for the first down. Programming note to pass along down here. Down. Due to the Good length time. of our ball game Andrew tonight, Brand. the Jody Kelsey Simmons. show will not be seen this evening so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Doggone. So stepping in, Angleton Simmons. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a That's wasted A.B. This has ball to be one, a better no effort. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Up next for Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball David. away, which I don't think is the guy. best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out of the Attention, corner, please. so it leaked back Pinch right over the, the heart break. of the plate and got whacked. Number 24, Steven Vogt. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. One. And that's in there as well. 0 oh, 2 now. Bo, California born ball player. He was a 12th round selection back in the draft of 2007. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Rizzo is there. And he'll take this one to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well now executed two the seamer on the field. outside corner that Matthew. time. And that's what you'll get Richter. a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So a big 
right spot here and stepping in Matthew Rector as he'll hit with the go ahead run at third and two away. Here's the first pitch. Popped up. Holt in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0-1 offering. Runners breaking from home. And a late squeeze attempt. And it looks like it's going to work. No errors and one man left the board. Still one run can win this thing as we move ahead to the bottom of inning number 12. And we still have no score. Rodas Vizcaino will be summoned please. here to start the home 12th. And the best case Braves. scenario for him is to take us number to the 13th. Rodas Vizcaino. Stepping in, Rich Hoskins. Way to go. Billy. No left fielder. Rich Hopkins. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One Off the plate and low here, ball one. There's a fastball ball. well no off strike. the plate for a ball. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Now the 2-0 home. Two balls and a strike to count. Pitch on two and one. Eli. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Yeah. Count full now. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably the too good to face. take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Digging in. Brock Holt looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Vizcaino utilizes a good curveball as a part of his arsenal, but it's not just your run-of-the-mill breaking ball. It's unique in that he's able to throw it with great velocity, a power curve, if you will. in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Franco. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First offering on its way. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out base knock to put the winning Down run right. on base. Right Let's see if someone can catch a Go. gap and end this. Good.
before the pitch, a check no, on that no. winning run at first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Into the box, Jerome Good batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Come set the 0 1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Nope. And this one's inside and high. One, one and two down. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Now a throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continues. Ready with the one, two. Strikes him out to retire the side, so he'll play at least one more. Billy Strand one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. Digging in, Brandon Bunty. Leading off of the brand, the right fielder, Brandon Bunty. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. There to take it is Zergis, and that's out number one. The first Every pitcher pitch loves out. to get quick out, Ready. right? How about that? Three one minutes. pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Freddie Freeman. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. A Help bit high there. Over. A ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike now to the Braves first baseman. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. The 1-1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Is a win, but a miss. He struck him out. The third baseman, number seven. Stepping into the box, Anthony Rendon. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. That misses nope. wide. One ball and one strike. Skied into straightaway right. Good. Has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on to the home half of the inning. And we still have no score. Standing in, Anthony Rizzo. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. Anthony Rizzo.
first offering on its way. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Okay, okay, I see where this guy's going, right? He wants to pitch backwards, a little O-O curveball. Don't be shocked if this hitter's sitting all over that same pitch right here. The 0-1 pitch. Ball. Down and away, ball one. One ball, one You're three. in the box right now. You've got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. Here comes the 1-1 one, one. in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hit hard up the middle, and this is going to get through into center, so there's your possibly winning run aboard on the leadoff single. It's going to be interesting to see how they play this. Deep into the extra field innings, field. and now they've got the winning run on. Old oh. school probably bunt and move him into scoring position, but that's not an automatic decision these days. We'll see what they do. Standing in now, Adam Jones. Grounder down the line of four. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. Hey, two Good runners ball. on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Gonzalez now a bunt attempt here Simmons out back to Freeman hey. not in time and they'll just get the one now back second baseman there. settling in now hey. Hey. looking to bring home the winning run from third here's the first pitch and they pitch out oh, here, but nothing's going on. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. High pop-up. Pop-up has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted for that pitch up of the zone. Whoa. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well, executed there. there. Edwin Encarnacion the will Billy. grab a bat and hit for the Number pitcher 11. here. Edwin Encarnacion. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A two-out hit and win it. Pass ball or wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. Turned on down the line. And a reaching five, but this is by him, and that's going to be your ball game. And that's going to do it as they walk out the in walk-off fashion. What a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our top player of the game. Well, he just made himself a really tough out here. 
picked up three hits. Two of them were doubles, so he was a real factor every time he stepped to the plate.